Hi all, today we are going to see what is substitution cipher. Replace each character or bit of the plain text message with a different character. Example, Caesar cipher. Another name for Caesar cipher is Rod3, which is monoalphabetic. One more example, Viginear cipher, polyalphabetic. What is Rod3 or Caesar cipher? To encrypt a message, you simply shift each letter of the alphabet three places to the right. For example, A would become D, B would become E. If you reach the end of the alphabet during this process, you simply wrap around to the beginning so that X becomes A, Y becomes B and Z becomes C. Here, I have given one example also. Our plain text message is the die has been cast. Our cipher text is W, K, H, G, L, H. K D V E H H Q F D V W. To decrypt the message, you simply shift each letter three places to the left. See, C cipher is easy to use, but it is also easy to crack. How? It is vulnerable to a type of attack known as frequency analysis attack. This is the most common letters in the English language are E, T, A, O, N, R, I, S and H. With this, attacker can easily crack this. You can also express the rod 3 in mathematical terms. For this, you just need to convert all the alphabets into a corresponding number. A is 0, Z is 25 like that. We have two formulas here. How we are going to encrypt? C equal to P plus 3 mod 26. How we are going to decrypt P equal to C minus 3 mod 26. In our upcoming video, we will see what is beginner cipher, which is a polyalphabetic substitution cipher. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe, like and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Bye.